We never know when something is going to happen. And when it does, everything changes at once. The corruption of Chris Miller. Two women who hate each other. Join together to protect themselves from a mad killer. He's in the library. He can't have locked all the windows. There must be some way out. The corruption of Chris Miller. Gene Seberg. Marisol. Barry Stokes. The corruption of Chris Miller. Hey, what's going on, people? This is Speederman here with another film review. And this time I'm talking about a 1970s Giallo Spanish uh, murder mystery. I guess you can call it a thriller slasher. It's called The Corruption of Chris Miller. So this film, um, wow, this is a pretty crazy film. Uh, so the story is we have a stepmother and stepdaughter and uh, they live together in this isolated mansion it's very nice uh, they're very well-to-do uh, people and uh, one day a drifter uh, comes knocking and you know he wants to he's looking for work uh, he's just a drifter he never stays in one place and uh, kind of starts seducing like the stepmother you know kind of one of those things um, I've seen this kind of thing in a lot of like these type of films too it's not like a new thing but uh, yeah so you know of course um, Chris Miller starts getting a little bit jealous because the stepmother is getting all the attention and you know it kind of it kind of like goes like the stepmother and stepdaughter they already hate each other so this kind of adds more tension to their relationship and um, yeah so this uh, guy, this drifter, uh, he kind of, you know, slowly but surely starts uh, seducing uh, the stepmom, Ruth. And um, there is more to this uh, drifter than meets the eye, though. I mean, you could tell it's foreshadowing. It's very obvious. But still, I like the mood, the atmosphere this movie had. The soundtrack's pretty good um, for the time. And I like the acting. I mean, the acting it was, you know, for 70 standards, it was okay. It was, I liked it. Um, and yeah, this movie had a plot twist too. Uh, towards the end, the movie really had some crazy scenes, some good camera work, good camera angles, good direction. Uh, cinematography is great. I mean, I haven't seen a Gallo movie in a while too uh, that was actually average or above average. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, would I recommend The Corruption of Chris Miller? For sure, for sure, I recommend it if you can find it. Um, I give this film a 8 out of 10 because I really enjoyed it. And it kind of stands out. I mean, this movie also has some slasher elements, uh, whodunit elements. And I don't know, man. I might watch it again because I just like the, the whole vibe this movie has. You know, it's total classic uh, horror vibe, but at the same time... It, it keeps you guessing, you know. So, yeah, guys, that's what I thought about the corruption of Chris Miller. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? Share the video. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys saw the film, all right? Peace.